Looking to buy a contemporary family home in Blair Athol Golf Estate? Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are back in this exquisite lifestyle estate with Victoria, who's going to take us on a tour. Now, as always, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, four garage home. Guys, you're in for a treat because this is a stunner. Victoria. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining us once again. This house is absolutely exceptional and I'm so excited to show you around. Um, to be able to be given the opportunity to show you around this house makes me so excited and can't wait to do it. Come on, Xavier. As you're coming in, you met with this entrance completely in glass, opening so much light throughout the home. As you come through, you'll see you have this amazing wooden herringbone flooring. Look at the light, Xavier. Like, I can't even deal. Earlier, we had a bit of wind. Yeah. These things were making noise. I love it. Maybe I should just bounce into it. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Here go. <laughs> so stunning. So seamless. I mean, if you look through all the textures with the woods and the stone and everything, as you come in, then you are met with this massive courtyard. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, garden area in the middle here. It just creates so much to talking about inside, outside living, trying to integrate the outside world within the home, just creating like a lot of peace, I would think. So just a little bit about this house. They, it has this massive walkway running all around that internal courtyard, but we'll talk more about that later. Coming into the kitchen area, guys, I have never seen a kitchen like this. This kitchen is absolutely exceptional. You have your Caesar stone tops. You have these beautiful little details. You have all these brass inlays and the brushed brass is running throughout the kitchen on the handles to the shelf, to the, to the, the hood. I mean, it's broken up between stone, wooden cladding. I mean, I can't even deal. We talk a lot about like little touches in the kitchen and in this home you can see the beautiful integrated sink here built out of the Caesar stone. Absolutely, absolutely exceptional. I love the layers as well. Oh, so many, so many textures in here, so many different... Oh, before I forget, let me show you. Pit cookers. Now these guys are something you would want in your home. Oh, yeah, they're pretty cool. They are um, installed directly onto the stone and just so seamless, so sleek, so modern, absolutely amazing. You've got beautiful smeg appliances throughout the kitchen. This is a bespoke kitchen. We have put in smeg coffee machines, smeg microwave, integrated smeg fridge and freezer, which is always fantastic. And a smeg wine cooler in your kitchen for those lovely nights. <laughs> like tonight. Like tonight, with this beautiful sunset. I mean, can you? Um, coming through here, we will be going through to the scullery. Look at this beautiful door. I, it's absolutely stunning. Oak trim, reeded glass, brass handle. I mean, we are meeting all the design trends throughout this house. Come into the scullery, it's ample sized. Beautiful courtyard out here to hang your washing. Massive walk-in um, pantry, as well as space for all your appliances, dishwasher, washing machines. I mean, it leaves very little to be desired after this. <laughs> Coming back through the home, we will stop in here at the entertainment area outside. Now, if you are an entertainer, this is, and a, and, a, and a cook, if I must say a food enthusiast, this is the bride area for you. I, I, it's insane. You have gas and you have coal, all by um, Signy Fires. And then you have this beautiful bar area right next to the bride, which you can sit and prep and talk and cook and do everything. There's also glass all the way around the bar area, which kind of exp um, closes off to the elements, which is really nice um, on a raining day or whatever. And then you have this cantilevered, um, cantilevered roof coming over here, which is so stunning. 
as well as Xavier, you mentioned um, there's a skylight just above this dining table, which is also super cool, allowing natural light coming in. And then you walk out from that and you look onto the beautiful Gary Player Golf Course. I mean, what more could you ask for, guys? Look at the sunset. Look at that sunset. I mean... That's one of the things that you've mentioned earlier, Blair Atoll. Where does your property end and where does a golf course start? I because... It's insane. Look at that view. We know it's winter, so the grass is not where it's supposed to be. But... But look at this, guys. This You can't beat this. And of course, high. when we look around and head back in with Victoria, look at the corner unit there. Look at the overhang. Can't believe it is very cool. And a little tease in the corner there. I'm not going to get too close. Yeah. But that's a main bedroom like you've never seen before. I can yeah. tell you. Beautiful plants and boxes running throughout the, the outside living area, which I think are, it's a nice soft touch. Obviously in summer with all the rain and everything, you'll get a nice grow and with all your plants. Coming through here off the massive kitchen, which may I just point out that I think this island is probably five meters long, if not six. I think it's six meters long, honestly. That's how huge it is. Beautiful, beautiful lights, guys. Beautiful lighting through this house. Just giving it so much character, so much warmth. I don't think I've ever been in a home that is just so warm and welcoming. Um, over there, there's like a little wine area as well. What do you call it? A wet bar by your, by your dining area, which I think is also super cool. The whiskey's cognacs right there. <laughs> And in Xavier over here, we have a double-sided wood-burning fireplace. I love that it's completely wrapped in um, stone. If I'm not mistaken, see the stone and a kind of neolith, um, the darker one. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then on the other side of the double-sided glass fireplace <laughs> is the TV lounge, which I just love. Yeah, um, the integrated living. There is integrated heating and cooling throughout the whole house and as you can see again meet with your morning run track around your your house <laughs> because yeah the house is set up such that you can actually dude look at this you can again look onto this beautiful courtyard throughout every part of the house it's absolutely stunning Xavier what I did notice and I'd just like to point out to the viewers double glazed aluminium doors and I normally have a problem with these in houses because I'm quite small and they're normally quite heavy to move. I just want to point something out here. It's insane. I think this door probably weighs like a lot. I don't know how much, but a lot. And then the, all the doors are cavity doors. It disappears. They disappear. Pocket doors, back oh. cavity doors. Yeah. Okay, we're in the house. That's how you have these beautiful open views. Like it's insane. It's so exciting. <laughs> In case you wonder how we opened this, that's exactly what it was. There as well, all of these doors. Yeah, they're all so nice. They all work so well. It's so steady. We're going to be walking through to the main now. Wait till you see this. As you come in, you are met with this beautiful um, coffee station tea area in your main bedroom with a nice strip lighting there, guys. I mean, how cool. Obviously, plugs have been put behind this beautiful oak paneling that actually has these copper inserts put through the middle. I'm sorry, brass, not copper. And um, put through the middle, which I just think is such a lovely touch. So thoughtful. And then as you come into the main, we're going to hit a right to the bathroom. Tease, tease. Sweet. There we go. Yeah. Coming into this bathroom. Guys, guys, I can't begin to tell you marble stone tops which i just think is so cool i think in modern day times we use a lot of these engineered stones so i love to see beautiful natural stones in a home absolutely stunning and you can see the marble is now run through into the shower um as well as the shower floor guys there's marble in the shower floor these tiles i stand to be corrected are imported from Italy and they are opiate tiles. They are absolutely stunning. Just gives so much texture and depth into the home. And like, have you ever seen a shower head like this, Celia? I don't know. Like that button for a second? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to touch on you. Very fair. So it's programmed, in other words. Yeah, no, it's 
that's insane. And I was like, oh, you're gonna make me have a shower during the, us <laughs> during the video. Fine, do they integrate this paneling throughout that you'll see throughout the course of the home. They put it in the bathroom as well. Just softening everything so much. It's just, oh, absolutely stunning. And this main bathroom also has a beautiful exterior bathroom as well. Kind of going from the light and bright to the dark finishes with your black tub and black shower. Super cool. A little bit of frosted glass so nobody can see you. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. And now. And now the main. This bedroom is huge. Absolutely, absolutely just massive. I talk about double volume ceiling heights and then you get triple volume ceiling heights and I think this is pretty much might be one level up. I mean, it's huge. Beautiful lights again, matching entrance lights as you come into the house. The beautiful open truss trusses and the shadow lines throughout all the bulkheads around. I mean, it's, a, it, it's exceptional. Um, we talk about the paneling at the back here uh, and the paneling just above there before the glass balustrade at the top. It's all so cute, so soft, just creating real luxury into the home and real design factors. Now I'm going to show you upstairs. And if this house didn't have enough to offer, and if this main bedroom didn't have enough to offer, you have this beautiful area up here. It could be, I think it was designed as a library, if you wanted a library in your main in your main bedroom, but it could be used as anything. It could be an office, it could be your gym. I mean, the opportunities are endless. Stunning, definitely like a meditation or a contemplation right? area. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And like you said, again, the similar type design, oh, black seamless. finished. Seamless. Everything running through the house is exactly the same. You know, I mean, look at that view. If you're sitting here at night with your doors open, looking out onto the golf course, I mean, come on guys. You can decide to make yourself a little fire in your little fire pit outside your main bedroom here. Normally I say how many of us can sit here, but if this is an, an, an evening 10 p.m. thing yeah. for uh, you and, uh, and hubby. You and hubby. <laughs> Just you. Nobody's going to be sitting out here. Xavier, I spoke about the doors earlier, meeting, going out onto the courtyard. Now those doors were tall. They were big. They were heavy. What do you think of these doors? How tall and big and heavy they are. Again, double glazing. Guys, this door probably weighs... 250 kilos, like it's insane. And look how I'm opening it. I mean, what is that? Yeah, probably like you said earlier, probably a four, four meter door it's closed insane. in. It's insane. I don't even understand how it's even possible. Very. Coming in homes like this, you always, always, always have to pay attention to the detail and the finishes, guys. What determines a house like this is the finishes. How much has been spent on the finishes? You don't want to buy a home like this and you don't have great aluminum doors. Those, I can tell you are top-notch aluminum doors. All the finishes in this house, I can tell you, are top-notch. Coming into one of my favorites, the beautiful dressing room. Xavier, can you deal? I mean, come on. Come on. Oh. How stunning. Ample, ample space. I mean, look at these pull-out drawers for your shoes. All soft clothes. Absolutely just no words. Wow. And then, yeah. I size mean, wise. Size yep. wise, it's endless. It is absolutely endless. And meticulous. Like, oh. And then you got a beautiful little dressing and what do you call it? A uh, dressing table. Dressing table to do your makeup and everything. Lots of little nooks and crannies to put your bags in your Louis Vuittons and your shoes and your watches. And it's just, it's beautiful. My, this, this main bedroom is faultless. I can't. It's a main bedroom of dreams, if I can't say. It's a stunner, and I'm glad we started off with this one. Yeah. But let's not downplay the rooms that are dying. No, Come. we're definitely not. Carrying on in our massive morning runner route, we will start off on the first bedroom over here. Each be bedroom is absolutely ample in size. Beautiful. I mean, every bedroom, I think, has a king or queen size bed in it. 
running with the same beautiful cabinetry running throughout the house with the brass brush brass handles they've really kind of had a great continuity and flow in this house and um, integrated obviously heating and cooling every bedroom has its own little exterior courtyard as well which i mean who wouldn't want that not just its own courtyard because i could see on my left there's something else what there. are you seeing <laughs> So what I can say is all, every uh, ensuite bathroom has full bathroom. We're talking heated towel rails, we're talking bath, we're talking shower. This beautiful terrazzo stone on the sinks I think is just stunning. Um, and you come out and every bathroom has its own exterior shower as well, which is just, I mean, if you talk about houses that meet all the requirements of internal and external living these are definitely this is definitely one that's up there love the little 3d the texture tile correct so lovely just creating depth i mean this house doesn't lack as far as depth and styles concerned and i always talk about how we run with the same textures and products throughout the house i mean the oak speaks everywhere yes it's in different um, areas of the house and in different colors but it's exceptional this is like a little study nook area i think for your kids having a house like this and being sold as an entertainer and not an entertainer's home a family home you would want to have a separate area for the kiddies to kind of go and do their work and everything coming through here we have the third bedroom again almost identical i think they're all pretty much identical to the others um, with small differences, Zega is kind of showing you a great little, each bedroom has these bolted ceilings with shadow lines around the edges. So. As well as the built-in cupboards, yeah. again, with the brass finishes. With the brass Love it. finishes. As in, in every bathroom, again, full bathroom. I mean, we've got five bedrooms with five full ensuite bathrooms. Xavier, I don't know if you noticed, every, um, every bathroom has the same tile but they're all laid in different styles. Oh, really? Yes. So this one's in a, like a soldier style. Okay. And then I think we'll we'll see what the next ba ba bathroom is. I think it's just very cool. I mean, they've made preparations, plug points are in the right areas if you want to mount TVs. Um, coming through to the fourth bedroom. Absolutely beautiful. Very similar, like I said. Very similar. Them. They all Let's... just match. They all clean. They all like this is what this is what you want in a home, guys. Like everything this similar, everything beautiful, everything clean, matching. Again, I'm just gonna walk out to the outdoor shower again. <laughs> See, this is hairy mode. And the other one I said was soldier. <laughs> oh, so cool. Putting them too short. Otherwise I could look at <laughs> Look okay, over your beautiful view outside. Absolutely. Bedroom number four. All en suite, and guys, all en suite. So Zedia, would you live here? No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Price might be an issue for me, but... We could sell a kidney or two, you know? <laughs> well, something I, I mentioned um, to, to you earlier that there's this really cool access door from the outside meeting up with a door over here. So if you have your garden staff coming in, they don't have to disrupt the home. They have their own entrance. They can come in and they can tend to the courtyard area. Again, guys, this is winter. So this is probably the worst your garden is going to look, but exceptional still. And coming through to the fifth and final bedroom, Cute. This would be, I guess, so if you don't, it has three kids. I mean, four kids. This would be your guest bedroom. Beautiful. Every room leads out onto an exterior part of the house. I think it's so, so well thought out. And, and the bathroom. I just wanted to point out. Look at the recessed lights. So cool. And the shower heads. I don't know if you can see from here, but that shower head is two and a half, three meters high. So, <laughs> waterfall. Goliath. <laughs> Coming back this way, meeting, uh, getting to the end of our 
morning job strip. We will see on the left hand side, there is an office in here. I would like to point out that this is a brand new home. No one has lived in it and um, the house has been lightly staged for selling purposes. So you just got to picture and envision your own style in here and your own um, furniture in here. But this area has been essentially set up for a little theater room. Very nice. It could be whatever, I mean, the world's your oyster in this home. You can decide what room's going to be what. I like how you mentioned 20 minutes into the tour that this entire place has been staged. Most people probably don't even realize that because it's been such a pleasure. Again, guys, this is entrance. Here we go. Yeah. So we looped all the way around. Yeah. And of course, the sun has set and now the light's starting to pick up oh, everywhere. Um, and then there's a guest loo. Last but not least, a beautiful guest toilet, all black finishes. Exceptional exquisite marble. I mean, I don't think I've seen that anywhere. And I've mentioned before, it's so nice to see natural materials being used in the home because you don't often um, see that too much anymore. This house has four garages, two on either side. It has a um, inverter system that runs majority of the house. There's very little that this house leaves um, left to be desired. We're going to show you one of the garages. Are we here? We, why not? Why not? Xavier, I would like to point out these custom doors, actually, because they're not like anything you've seen before. Um, all oak doors with this kind of like strip inlay, which I think is so cute and so well thought out. Um, and then, yeah, you just got like, I'll we'll just show you the size pretty much. Here you go. Pool <laughs> table in the middle. It just shows the sheer size of this thing. In the garage. <laughs> and yeah. Absolutely amazing. And now that the sun has set, oh. let's visit the entertainment area and kitchen. Because this is pretty much, let's call it what it is, the time you come home. This is when you're going to be entertaining. This is where your family life starts. Look at this. Victoria, you'll agree that there's something about doing a tour of a property at this day or time of day rather, because... It's so nostalgic. It's so warm, it just, you can envision your life here when you walk through this home. You can envision your family here. Come on guys. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Yeah. Agent details will be below. As always, Victoria, thank you so much for taking us through. Thank I'm gonna... You. I'm gonna go to the lawn and have another look at the golf course as well as switch back and see what this house looks like at this time of day. I always feel guilty for talking because it's so quiet. I know. Setting. I think if you're on the golf course and you see that main bedroom from the golf course, you think that's the house. Sure. Little do you know. Here you go, guys. Thoughts, feedback, comments. Look at this. This is a bedroom, like I said, like no other. Truly, truly stunning. And in closing off, the view once more. Any questions? Don't hesitate, leave a comment, reach out. Details will be below. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.